Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. Alright, so the Artificial Island update was today. If you guys haven't done it yet, basically you gotta come here to the uh, Artificial Island. This is the, the task, alright? The Colados Invitation. So make sure you guys press participate and press go. And then you will be doing the quest. Just follow the quest line along the way. Once you have completed the quest, uh, follow Colados uh, quest you will have the access to this particular area which is the artificial island pretty cool uh the best way to exit in and out from the island is just go to click on this one and then you can always go to the asperia and then teleport to wherever you want to all right and then go here if you want to go back to artificial island just click here and teleport to wherever you want uh of course area is pretty big but today's focus is going to be about the home system all right so you can access it via pressing the menu right here in the build Alright, so you're gonna go to the build. Notice you got all of these buildings. There are six buildings in total, alright? Development Center, Machine Pot, Pumpkin House, Paw Paw House, Kitty House, Turtle House. Let's bring you guys in and we're gonna go by pressing this button. Enter the Artificial Island building one. Now, the moment you enter into this particular Artificial uh, Island mode thing, uh, you are playing alone. Nobody can join your world. So basically every single thing that you are farming here in this particular mode all belongs to you. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's go and show you guys a little bit and tell you guys how do you play this thing. Basically it's like a dormitory system. This is your main building. Alright, this is going to be the one that you're going to upgrade. Need to upgrade first. This is called the development center. Alright, so you have this one, the main one. And then you have five more subsidiary ones. So each of these small ones, the subsidiary ones, the five of these will give you their respective uh, equipment. So let's talk the first one right here. This is the Paw Paw House. Paw Paw House. So managed by this cute little fox guy right here. Alright, so where is he? He's right here. He's collecting the materials. So this cute little fox, what is he doing? He's collecting this energy material for you. Four per hour. So obviously you can upgrade this. Uh, these are the materials needed to upgrade. You can see once you upgrade, it's going to become eight per hour. Alright, pretty cool. And then you have one more right here. This one is machine pot. Alright, this is the machine pot managed by this cute little kitten. This will give you metal material. Alright, so this cat is the one collecting the metal material. Pretty useful, I would say, overall. You have one more all the way here. The pumpkin house. Alright, the pumpkin house right here. Managed by this cute little pumpkin guy. Hey, very cute. Alright, so this one will be able to give you the fiber material. Alright, and then you have two more at the down here, at the bottom here. So one is managed by this tortoise right here. So this one is the Tartarus Turtle House. And last but not least, the cat. Uh, he's managing this one called the Kitty House. So notice all of them give their respective materials. Now, very overwhelming might be depending on, you know, if you are new, I can see how that can be overwhelming. But you can always check at the build. Uh, and you can always check what they give by looking at this a metal material etc so why do you need to know what they give because every time you go to the exchange store which i will show you la later right you can see each of these will have their own currency to buy things right so metal material is going to be used to buy things from here all right and then fiber material is going to be used to buy things from here and the energy material is going to be used to buy things from here so notice all of these sort of have an equal importance i wouldn't say like this building is more important than that building because you can each of it will need their own currency right here to buy things from their respective shop all right so but before we jump into this the best way is to just claim all zoop all right that's how you can get all of these materials so one thing to note first things first you want to upgrade everything to level one all right on the first day and then you want to go and farm the bosses now every week the boss will respond so make sure you guys do this this is the first week you're going to fight at least four main boss all right apple fist right here which gives you all of these materials and then you have the uh, barbarossa all right all of these bosses these are like the mini bosses don't worry they're not that difficult and then you got robot right here which is right here uh, also will give you draw all of these materials and the devourer so based on what i see uh, in the build here they did mention uh, the most important part is right here that the enemies respawn every Monday. So I'm going to assume that that's weekly. So there's also going to be a lot of other enemies on the map. Like this ball right here. I can basically try and get rid of this ball. Uh, the ball is going to give me some renovation material, right? But ideally, the renovation material is cool and all. But just getting the renovation material is not going to be as 
useful. It's only giving me 23 of that renovation material. Alright, so everything like including the bear also give you the same renovation material as well as you guys can see. The monkey. Now this... Some of these monsters, this one, I, if I remember correctly, they do drop extra. So let me try and beat them. Energy material and supply material. Okay, this one is much more valuable for sure. You can see different enemies drop different things. Uh, those, the monkey, bear, and boar, and honey badger, those they are more common enemies. Those seem to drop the renovation materials, while some of these enemies seem to drop the respective materials. So make sure if you see any Hyanas or anything on the map, just go ahead and uh, just go ahead and kill them because they will give you a bunch of these cool materials. All right, get as many of these as you can. Now, should you do this every week, right? Now, obviously, the material, the building, eventually, once you level them up to like level uh, two, level four, level five, right? They will drop more materials, so you don't have to farm as much. But early on, I would say try to kill as many of these uh, mobs in the map in the area, and keep in mind, as far as I know, they respawn. Uh, weekly now i'm not sure if these small enemies respawn weekly or only the bosses the bosses for sure these are going to respawn once per week so make sure you guys focus on killing the four bosses first very important this will give you the best amount of drops all right so with that being said let's talk about the shop uh where you can actually purchase stuff using the base materials which is this thing right here exchange store you can also access it right here by clicking the exchange store right here right so look at all of this right so what are the best things that you want to get from all of this shop? The priority in my humble opinion is to purchase every special voucher that you see. Now these things are extremely valuable especially if you are free to play. Now why is the priority to purchase a special voucher? Because the special voucher is something that you cannot obtain this elsewhere as a free to play. Right? This is something that you gotta prioritize. Uh, I would highly recommend you guys to buy this every time uh, it resets, right? So most of it seems to be monthly, like this one fiber material, you can see this one is a monthly limit, right? And then the energy material, this one is also a monthly limit. So most of it is monthly. So make sure you guys buy this once per month. Now let's talk about the last three one. Uh, the last one, the tech store token. Now this one you can actually buy this particular mount, the Crimson Meteor. Very cool vehicle, alright, if you want to flex this skin for sure, but it's very expensive. I think you need to play for at least, I didn't make the calculation, but I'm guessing about three to four months constantly buying. So how do you get this currency? This is a tech store token. You can obtain it from the composite material right here. You can, you can see you can convert a tech store token. 600 of uh, composite materials into one into you know 20 of these and then you can get from the quality building material as well so these two the quality building materials and the composite material can be interchanged with each other uh but i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend this you know your buildings will never generate this so this is something that you have to obtain via the bosses right so the bosses will give you this one the quality building and the composite all right so keep that in mind so this material right here uh, this one, the quality building and the composite is the only one that your buildings don't generate. Now the rest, all your buildings can generate. Uh, this one, the renovation materials, the supply materials, the energy material, the fiber material and the metal material. Let's talk about the other building which is the workshop. Now this one is where everything gets really interesting because I think a lot of players have talked about this. You can actually craft matrices. Alright, so notice right now early on you can craft any some of these things, right? Again, like I mentioned, this one, notice the down one, the composite materials and the quality building materials. Remember that your buildings can never generate this. So this is something that you got to farm from the bosses. So it's kind of limited. So think carefully before you fuse anything. But notice if you scroll down, eventually, you will be able to obtain the SSR matrices. Alright, so this is where it gets really, really cool. Although... A lot of CN players have been saying the chances are a little bit low. So keep that in mind, it's going to be really really low. The chance of you obtaining this SSR matrix is going to be like the same chance of you opening it from using a perfect decipher chip. Keep that in mind. So that's like really low, maybe like 1% at most. So most of the time you're not going to get them. And you can only farm this limited amount of times, right? It's like a weekly thing. So my suggestion is for now, maybe don't use any of these materials first because like I said, composite and the quality building these are limited to the monsters weekly especially the world bosses maybe wait until you can have a chance to get ssr matrices which your um buildings need to reach 
level 5 as listed right here, right? So you can see King Matrix, pretty cool. And then you have the Huma Matrix for Machine Pot, right? Pumpkin House can give you Shiro or Meryl. Popo House will give you a uh, Samir or Subasa. Kitty House will give you Meryl or Crow. Turtle House will give you Kokorita or Zero. Meryl can occur twice, once in the Kitty House and once in the Pumpkin House, which is kind of interesting, right? So uh, make sure you guys focus on which one you need first. For me personally, I'm going to try to get my Paw Paw House because I want to try to get Samer Matrices. Uh, this is one, one that I'm really wanting to focus. So let's get up the Paw Paw House, which is this one. But before that, I need to go to the development, which is this one. All right, I got to power up this one first to level. Two. And notice there's a timer once you do that. This is about 450 seconds. Okay, so this thing is done. So now I get two of these fox, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, let me pick that up. Uh, right now, it gives me eight per hour as opposed to four, right? And if I want to upgrade this, I need to upgrade my development center to level three. So yeah, that's how the upgrading works. Uh, ideally, now obviously you can go two routes. You can try to upgrade all of them evenly if you want to, right? Or you can try and focus on one first. For me, I'm gonna somewhat do them evenly, but I still want to try to focus on the paw paw because this is a matrix that I really, really want for the, uh, you know, for the same matrix. Definitely, that's something that I'm gonna aim for personally, right? And also, uh, I noticed that right here it did mention that the development is the resources can store up to 24 hours of resources and will not continue generating resources if this limit is reached. So that means that every single day when you log into the game, make sure you click this button, claim all, so that you generate or so that you claim everything or else it will be capped and you will not be able to claim any extra after reaching 24 hours. Oh yeah, one last thing before, uh, if you want to exit, just click on this button right here. So to exit the uh, artificial island building mode. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of the dormitory system overall. Do you guys like it? Do you guys enjoy it? As always, if you haven't already subscribed, give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.